The month of March is geared towards colon cancer awareness and the importance of getting screened. WHLT's Micah Barnes Garcia sits down with a gastroenterologist about the second leading cause of cancer and cancer deaths in our country. If you find colon cancer early, there's over a 90% five year survival. But if you find it late, unfortunately, that survival drops significantly. With a family history of colon cancer, Dr. Michael Gobel knew he wanted to become a gastroenterologist. Because it allows us to have long term, meaningful relationships with patients, but also allows me to uh, do procedures where I'm able to do great things like prevent cancer. Mississippi's in the bottom 5% nationally regarding screening rates, and doctors look forward to increasing the number by doing different procedures on patients. Colonoscopy is how we do that. Um, it's a quick and painless procedure. It's less than 30 minutes on average. And in doing that, we've been shown to reduce colon cancer by up to 75%. One of the problems with colon cancer is the growth from polyps, the precancer cells, which normally don't have any symptoms until they become advanced. According to Dr. Gobel, the polyps typically show up after the age of 50. The typical uh, average um, cancer risk really increases in your 60s to 70s. So we start in your 50s because we want to get rid of the polyps before they're an issue. And the opportunity is there for us to significantly reduce colon cancer. You know, probably 2017, most estimates would say 150,000 people are going to get diagnosed with colorectal cancer. The majority of those would be preventable. Um, and that's our goal here. Connecting you to Pine Belt News, Micah Barnes Garcia, WHLT 22. And if a polyp is found during testing, it is removed and sent to a lab for testing. Now, if you have any information regarding colon cancer or to set up a screening, contact your health physician.